So we've all heard the hype about new technologies and uh, new inventions that occur every week and flying cars and so on and so forth. And I'm still driving my Honda Civic to work every day and, and, and so the battery hype is no different, right? We hear about things every week that could pose, can supposedly change our lives. Uh, I think it was Thomas Edison who said back when he was working with batteries that uh, working with a rechargeable battery immediately transforms that person into a liar and a thief, right? A snake oil salesman, if you will. And that's certainly the case today. Uh, and so part of my role that I do uh, take seriously is trying to bring a practical, objective voice to the conversation. And as researchers, we all are supposed to be objective and unbiased. However, uh, allowing people to wear different hats can be useful as the inventor can be uh, somewhat just mindlessly excited about the path they're charging down and I can take a little bit more objective, wide-angle view of the situation and, and together hopefully we can charge down the path that will actually lead to a true breakthrough. If, if we don't win the hub, and I'm probably going to leave Argon, and the reason is, is the hub is really, I think, the last great chance at invention uh, using this team science approach. And with that invention, you know, I see that as my opportunity to help make the world a better place, to really help shift the political realm and energy world in the way that I've been wanting to do for years.